This lesson is gonna be on time management. So as I work with clients on stress management in any of the dimensions of our well-being, in the eight dimensions that we look at specifically, sometimes the concept of time management comes up as well. So when we're looking at time management, many people believe that they have really good time management, yet they're always stressed. And so if any of these symptoms are happening in your life, and obviously there's more than just this, these five, but if this is coming up in your life, symptoms of poor time management, if you feel like you can never get anything done, or if you can't schedule the things that you enjoy and that feed your other areas of your well-being, time management could be a really good thing to start with and to start looking at. So the way that I like to teach time management is to use the bucket theory. With the bucket theory, we understand that we all have 24 hours in a day. So that's 168 hours per week. We all have the same amount of time. Now, sometimes people will break this up into three buckets. So imagine 56 hours in one bucket, then the other bucket, and then the other bucket. And I have a really good quote down here that has meant a lot in my life. And hopefully it will help you understand that if you're not managing your time, you're likely not managing your peace. And therefore, this is something that is a really good realization to kind of have for yourself. That peace is so important to have, but often we give it away. Somebody doesn't take it from us. We give it away because we can't always control what's happening to us or our circumstances. But what we can control is what's happening inside us. So let's really look at time management as an inside out approach to manage our stress. So in the first bucket is work. Now many people are working more than 56 hours a week and so that might be already a red flag for you right there. Maybe your work-life balance is off quite a bit and you might be putting a lot more hours than 56 in a week. That's just some place we wanna start. Now I know a lot of executives I work with, they can't go and start shaving off hours but it's something to be mindful of if you need to maybe create even potentially start creating has maybe even the first person in your company some more boundaries around your work and when you are going to work when you are leaving work to include some more of these wellness principles that are ultimately going to make you work better so again if we're not managing our stress and our time well we'll start to have some of those symptoms like i showed in the first slide so that's a good place to start the next bucket is going to be your sleep so I might have answered your question right then and there. I might have solved your problem. You are just not getting enough sleep. You're not getting the recommended seven hours a day for seven to eight hours a day of um, good quality sleep. So maybe you need to change your sleeping routine, your nightly routine so that you're getting better sleep. Maybe you need to turn the TV off or to take away some stressful things that screen time or anything like that that's actually keeping you from getting that deep good sleep so sleep is one of the second buckets that we have to consider where our time is going and the final one is everything else so you have 56 hours of work 56 hours of sleep and 56 hours for everything else family exercise cooking cleaning kids friends everything else goes into this bucket so now you might understand you know if you've been taking away hours um, from your everything else bucket and adding it into your work bucket and you have even less everything else hours you might be able to see your imbalance right there or maybe you're taking from your sleep bucket adding a little to your work bucket and your everything else bucket and wondering why you're so tired all the time what i don't want for you right now is to be dis discouraged by your everything else bucket and everything that's supposed to be in it, but be encouraged that we're going to take time to see what's really going in here. Where are you really spending your time and where could you prioritize? So you can schedule in the things that mean the most to you first, like your family and your health and your well-being and your friends and those types of things first. What do you, you really want to do? And maybe spend less time on the things that are less important. And unless you take the time to do a bit of an audit, you might not know really how many hours you're working, how many hours you're sleeping, and how many hours you're spending on everything else. So that's where the time management bucket audit comes in play. 
You can do a five day or a seven day. I would recommend no less than a three day audit of what you're doing. So you just write down how many hours you sleep, you write down what your work schedule and your work hours were, and then it's everything else. So I go from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. Usually by that time, most people are working. And then maybe what are you doing on your lunch break? And then I pick it back up at 5 p.m. all the way to 11 p.m. to try to get an idea of what your afternoons are looking like. So let's get an idea of where the time is going and where maybe we can make better choices, maybe make different priorities priorities in our everything else bucket to get in the things that you say matter to you the most. This will create a lot less stress in your life and make you feel, you know, a lot more peace day day to day, a lot more empowered by your schedule and not hopefully as overwhelmed by it. Recently, I had a client who was having trouble getting her workout scheduled in. And so we did a time audit for seven days. She tracked everything she was doing and uh, we went through this bucket experience and she found out that every night, most every night, she was watching anywhere from two to three hours of TV with her husband after they had put the kids to bed. And so after we looked at this, you know, that's almost a part-time job in hours. If you're doing it five or seven days a week, it's quite a bit of hours and takes quite a bit away from that everything else bucket. So what we did was we changed two days a week she started to implement some yoga into her schedule right before bed. So some relaxing yoga, she would do about an hour and did that for a few weeks. She felt so much better. And then after doing that two days a week for a few weeks, she ended up wanting to add more. Her and her husband started to walk in the evenings. And so it just snowballed effect, um, started to implement a little bit more activity in her evenings versus just laying around after sitting all day. So she felt a lot more energy and it was a really, really good outcome from just doing this time management bucket. She had no idea that she was watching that much TV. Um, and so it's a good place to start. I'd love for you to try to do at least three days, seven days if you're really wanting to get like a full picture of where your time's going. Understanding that I know every day is not going to be the same. I know that many people have dynamic jobs, that they have dynamic schedules. I get it but just chart your days. Even if every single day is different, we can maybe start to see some trends that are creating more stress in your life versus more peace. All right, so good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.